have the first part of the, the beer and food section, which obviously is going to be a huge portion of the 1554 Beer Confidence. We invited uh, pretty much Austin's premier beer and cheese specialist. We have John and Kendall Antonelli of Antonelli's Cheese Shop. Today we have them out here in the blazing heat of Austin. Uh, with a couple cheeses. And they're I, standing up just fine in the heat. They look they, great. They love, you look beautiful. Yeah, they do. You can either do a complimentary pairing in food or contrasting, generally. Uh, complimentary, taking the same flavor profiles and bringing them up to a new level, or contrasting what we'll do later with the blue cheese, hitting a lot of salt to a product right. that shouldn't taste salty. And the first one that we chose today is the Clorel, Le, Ledel de Cloron. It's a French uh, soft ripened cheese that's wrapped in bark. What we're working on with this uh, type of pairing um, is trying to sort of showcase the smokiness. There's a hint of smoke in this beer and so trying to showcase that by using the woodsiness, the oil from the bark that seeps into the interior of this cheese. Um, it's also a very creamy cheese and so it'll blend well off of your tongue oh goodness, with the good. with the effervescence of the oh beer. My God, it just makes the beer so much more like caramelly and like you get that, that rooty undertone to mm -hmm. it. We're changing textures, of course, going towards a firm cheese. Also now, uh, you by the whiteness of the cheese, you can see that it's a goat milk. Um, and this is made in the, by Central Coast Creamery in California. And it's a goat milk cheese that is made in the Gouda style. Uh, and they add goat cream into it. This is the particular pairing that we brought to accentuate the caramel nice. component in the beer, to bring that out. And that's from like the aging process? Mm -hmm. And that's kind of what I associate with kind of the toffee, um, the caramel, when I get that, I kind of get the butterscotchy notes to it, um, which definitely brings that out. There's something special about the way that this cheese develops, the way that for a, a goat milk, it's not a, so fatty, but the cream that they add into it coats the palate really beautifully. And you, it needs some of this effervescence to get that off of your tongue. Now we're going uh, to the uh, French king of blue cheeses, Roquefort. And it's really creamy, smooth. It's intensely salty, intensely blue, but the most well-balanced cheese I think I've ever had. Yeah, I love blues with, with the darker malts because I think there's something very earthy and herbal to this beer and then just bringing that kind of earthy funk from the cheese is just, like you're just kind of highlighting and oh. then just anytime you have salt so thank you guys so much yeah. i really appreciate thank it you guys. you guys are the best